Hello and welcome to this video on how to debug a Linux application from Xilinx SDK. In this video, we are going to see what target communication framework TCF means. We are going to see what the system debugger means and how we can use the system debugger to debug Linux application from Xilinx SDK. This will be followed by a quick demonstration on debugging a multi-threaded Linux application from Xilinx SDK. Target Communication Framework, TCF, is an open source framework. And unlike GDB, it is an extensible and modular framework that it can handle a wide range of development needs. Xilinx has leveraged the TCF framework to create a heterogeneous multi-core debugger called System Debugger. And this was released earlier for standalone application debugging. In case of Linux debugging, TCF also provides additional functionalities like profiling, remote file access, and system monitoring. We can also add more services to this framework, helping us to evolve rapidly. It should be noted here that Xilinx SDK supports GDB and other supporter services. From a user point of view, the workflow to debug a Linux application from Xilinx SDK is mostly similar to other application debugging flows. The TCF agent will replace the GDB server while debugging a Linux application. And as you can see from the picture here, with GDB, there will be many GDB servers created for different processes. But in the case of TCF, a single agent process is used to debug all applications. In addition to this, there are several advantages to debugging Linux application over TCF. Some of them are redirecting IO to SDK console, run control on thread by thread basis, auto attached to child process, and cross triggering between processes. Let's take a look at the demo. Let us power up the target. I'm using a ZC702 board for this demonstration. Let's open Teratem to monitor the boot up messages on UART. I'm booting up the 702 board uh, in SD boot mode. The board boots up with uh, the Patalanx RAM disk image. By default, the RAM disk image has the TCF agent running. The password for is uh, the login is root and the password is root. So once you have login, you can check the IP address assigned by doing an IF config. Let's open command prompt and see if you can ping the target at this IP address. Now that we are able to talk to the target, let's open SDK and create a new Linux application project. Choose 702 as your target platform. For the operating system, choose Linux and choose a Linux empty application. Copy the demo.c file into the empty application project. Okay, there is an error which is due to the pthread libraries. Let's go and add the pthread libraries for this particular project. Open C build settings and inside the libraries directly add pthread. Okay. Now that we are able to build the Linux application successfully, let's take a look at the demo.c file. It's a very simple application in which the mine creates two threads and the two thread reports the status. To debug this application, right click on the project and choose debug as debug configuration option.
double click on the Xilinx system debugger. The system debugger has many options like run attaching to a running target or debugging a standalone application. For our case, choose the Linux application project. For the host team, provide the IP address uh, of the target, which is highlighted here. Click the application tab and browse to the demo project. The demo.elf file is automatically selected as the application to debug. Provide a path for where the, the demo.elf has to be copied onto the target. I'm choosing temp slash demo.elf. You can also pass arguments to this CLF from the debugger. There is also other options which you can explore later. Click debug and it will open a debug perspective. Step through the main function. So as soon as you create threads, the debugger automatically attaches to the other threads that are child threads that were created by the main application. You can go back to the step, uh, the C file, and apply breakpoints. Let's run till we hit these breakpoints. As you can see, the IO got redirected to the SDK console on the bottom, and you can see both the threads are uh, providing their status on the console. You can individually select the threads and stop them or you can choose to stop both of them together and run, of them, run both of them together. I'm suspending an individual thread in this case. And as you can see from the bottom, thread 1 is continued to execute and thread 2 is suspended. That's the end of the demo. Alright, to summarize, debugging a Linux application from Xilinx SDK has a very simple flow similar to other application debugging from SDK. System debugger has great advantages over GDB. Talk to your local sales representative for an in-depth presentation on system debugger and how it can help accelerate your debug process. On behalf of Xilinx, Thanks for watching this video.